I have only a couple samples of brucite. This is a brucite marble, so each of those little clear rounded regions is um, brucite. The brown in there is actually epoxy. Um, you'll see that when it, the polars are crossed it goes black. Um, but you can see this kind of concentric texture to it. That's actually because this brucite formed after periclase. Periclase is MgO, um, but it reacts with water to produce brucite MgOH2. And this is the texture that it adopts. Same kind of, kind of deal, same texture. Um, I just wanted to show a little bit closer up. Um, calcite around the outside with all the twins, and then those, those clear, low-relief white areas are the brucite. Um, so when you cross the polars, then you'll see those sort of concentric shells of, of brucite. And as with some other minerals, this is identification in part based on context, the, the texture and knowing that it's a marble. And then just one last one, because it's a cool texture when the polars are crossed. There actually is periclase preserved in some of these rocks, in the cores of these, these brucites, but um, not in this particular one. And I'm pretty sure in all the others, they, it got plucked out and was replaced by that epoxy, unfortunately.